Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm your host, AI David Bowles, and today, along with our Crackbot AI research team, we have this idea to share with you today. From latchkey kids to helicopter parents, navigating generational shifts and future implications. In this conversation, we look into the fascinating transition from the latchkey kids of the 1970s and 1980s to the helicopter parents of the late 1990s and beyond, unraveling the intricate web of societal changes, parental philosophies, and the echoing implications for future generations. Let's start by painting a picture of the latchkey kid phenomenon. In the 1970s and 1980s, Economic pressures and the rise of dual-income households meant that more children came home to empty houses. These kids were termed latchkey kids because they often wore their house key around their necks, a symbol of their self-sufficiency and the trust their parents placed in them to take care of themselves for a few hours each day. This era championed independence and resilience, traits that were seen as necessary for survival in a world that was rapidly changing both technologically and socially. 
The latchkey kids learn to make their own snacks, help with household chores, and resolve their own disputes without the immediate intervention of an adult. Fast forward to the late 1990s and early 2000s, and a significant shift in parenting philosophy becomes evident. Those same latchkey kids, now grown and with families of their own, swung the pendulum in the opposite direction. They became the helicopter parents, a term coined to describe a style of parenting characterized by a high level of involvement in a child's life, hovering over their every move, decision, and problem. This approach is driven by an intention to protect and support their children in ways they felt were not provided to them. The transition from latchkey kid to helicopter parent did not occur in a vacuum. Several factors contributed to this dramatic shift in parenting style. Firstly, societal changes, including increased media coverage of child abductions and crimes, fueled parents' fears for their children's safety. The world seemed more dangerous, even if statistically it wasn't much different. Secondly, the rise of the Internet and mobile technology meant that parents had more tools at their disposal to keep tabs on their children, reinforcing the feasibility and desirability of constant oversight. Furthermore, economic pressures evolved. While the latchkey generation was largely about making do with less and finding independence out of necessity, the helicopter generation shifted focus toward ensuring their children had every possible advantage in a fiercely competitive world. This meant not just oversight but active management of children's social, educational, and extracurricular lives to optimize their chances of success. The psychological underpinnings of this shift are also noteworthy. Many latchkey kids, in retrospect, felt neglected or wished for more guidance and support from their parents. As adults, they pledged not to repeat what they perceived as mistakes made by their parents. This introspection and resolve were compounded by an evolving understanding of child development which emphasized the importance of nurturing and supporting children's emotional and intellectual growth. Let's consider the implications of this transformation. On one hand, children under helicopter parents may benefit from increased support, guidance, and opportunities. However, this intense oversight can also stifle independence, resilience, and the ability to handle failure. As we analyze this shift, it's crucial to understand that each generation reacts to the perceived deficiencies of the preceding one. Latchkey kids valued independence because they had to, while helicopter parents emphasized safety and support, perhaps sometimes to the point of excess. As we extend our analysis from the transformation of parenting styles to the broader canvas of global societal changes, it becomes evident that the shift from latchkey kids to helicopter parents mirrors deeper currents in our collective consciousness. This transition, while initially personal and familial, radiates outward, influencing perceptions of responsibility, community engagement, and even our relationship with the environment and technology. The implications of this generational shift offer a prism through which we can examine the interplay of autonomy and oversight in various spheres of human activity. In the age of social media and global connectivity, the principles behind helicopter parenting have seeped into our social fabric, influencing not just how we raise our children but how we view and interact with each other. The digital landscape, much like the world of helicopter parenting, is one where oversight is constant, privacy is eroded, and everyone is seemingly accountable to everyone else. This hypervisibility has altered our perceptions of grace and forgiveness, where mistakes are not just personal learning experiences but public spectacles. The nurturing aspect of helicopter parenting, aimed at protecting and guiding, finds its shadow in the online world's often merciless judgment and scrutiny. Yet. This connectivity also offers unprecedented opportunities for global solidarity and understanding. 
Just as helicopter parents strive to prepare their children for every conceivable challenge, our global community has the tools to preempt and respond to crises with agility and collective wisdom. The question then becomes one of balance. Can we extend the grace we desire for our children to our global neighbors? Can we learn to be as invested in the welfare of distant communities as we are in the immediate circle of our families? The transition from latchkey to helicopter parenting also reflects broader societal obsessions with optimization and risk management. In the corporate world, this manifests as an endless pursuit of efficiency, where every action is monitored and every outcome is measured. The functionality of systems, organizations, and even countries is increasingly evaluated through the lens of performance metrics, mirroring the helicopter parent's focus on ensuring every aspect of their child's life is geared toward success. This relentless drive for optimization, while yielding undeniable benefits in productivity and innovation, also raises questions about the value we assign to unmeasured aspects of life, creativity, emotional well-being, and the intrinsic worth of nature and human experience. Just as helicopter parenting can inadvertently overshadow the importance of failure and freedom in personal growth, our global focus on functionality risks neglecting the essential, unquantifiable elements that make life meaningful. An unexpected but deeply connected plane of thought emerges when we consider this generational shift in the context of environmental stewardship. The ethos of helicopter parenting, protection, foresight, and intervention is precisely what our planet requires in the face of environmental degradation and climate change. Here, the instinct to hover, to oversee, and to protect finds its noblest expression. Yet, the challenge is magnified by the scale and complexity of global environmental issues, requiring a collective, not just individual, response. Technology, particularly in the notion of artificial intelligence and biotechnology, stands to redefine the human experience in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. If current trends continue, the future could see humans integrated with technology to an extent that today's distinctions between the digital and physical, the natural and the artificial, become blurred. The implications for parenting and child-rearing could be curious, with potential shifts towards even more personalized and predictive forms of oversight, possibly even extending into genetic modifications to optimize for perceived success. However, as technology augments our abilities and perhaps even our intellects, the essence of what it means to be human, our creativity, empathy, and capacity for unstructured play, may be at risk if not consciously preserved. The challenge for future generations will be to balance the benefits of technological integration with the preservation of these quintessentially human traits. The transformation from latchkey to helicopter parenting hints at an underlying desire for control and protection. Extended into the future, this could mean an even more managed and monitored upbringing, unless there is a conscious effort to value and foster independence alongside safety. The environmental decisions made today will undoubtedly shape the world of ten generations hence. If current issues such as climate change, biodiversity loss, and resource depletion are not addressed, future generations may inherit a planet vastly different from our own, one where the very basics of life, clean air, water, and fertile soil, are no longer taken for granted. The stakes could not be higher. Ensuring a livable world where human societies can flourish will require a shift from exploitation to stewardship, from short-term gains to long-term sustainability. This environmental imperative could foster a transformation in behavior and expectation towards greater communal responsibility and a deeper connection with the natural world. As we project into the future, the evolution of societal structures and the concept of community 
will play pivotal roles in shaping human behavior and expectations. The trend towards globalization may continue, potentially leading to more homogenized cultures, but also offering opportunities for unprecedented levels of cooperation and collective action. Alternatively, the challenges of the future may prompt a return to smaller, self-sufficient communities that prioritize resilience and sustainability over growth and efficiency. The transformation witnessed in parenting styles from independence to oversight reflects underlying societal values and fears. Future generations may swing the pendulum again, possibly towards a model of upbringing that emphasizes community involvement and collective upbringing, blending the independence of the latchkey era with the protective instincts of helicopter parenting, but within a broader societal context. What is at stake for humanity ten generations from now is the very essence of our collective identity and individual well-being. The transformations we witness today in behavior and expectation are but echoes of the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. As we ponder the future, the question becomes not just about surviving but about thriving. How do we balance technological advancement with environmental sustainability? How do we maintain our humanity in an increasingly digital world? And how do we nurture future generations to value both independence and interdependence, resilience and empathy? The legacy of the latchkey kids and the helicopter parents may serve as a cautionary tale reminding future generations of the need for balance between freedom and protection, individuality and community and technology and nature. In this long view, the transformation we hope for is one that embraces the complexity and beauty of the human experience, fostering a world where each generation is empowered to contribute to a thriving, sustainable and compassionate global society. As we stand here today, at the confluence of past experiences and future possibilities, the stake from latchkey kids to helicopter parents and beyond serves as a fine reflection of humanity's adaptive spirit in the face of changing societal landscapes. This conversation has not only unraveled complex generational shifts in parenting, but also cast light on the broader themes of technological integration, environmental stewardship, and the evolving concept of community. Through this lens, we are reminded of the delicate balance between nurturing independence and ensuring security, between embracing technological advancements and preserving our core human values. Looking ahead to the distant horizon, the choices we make today, rooted in the lessons learned from past generations, will inevitably sculpt the world for those who will walk this earth ten generations hence. As we contemplate this immense responsibility, let us aspire to leave a legacy that harmonizes the wisdom of the past with the promise of the future, guiding humanity towards a path of resilience, empathy, and sustainable harmony with the world around us. For the Human Meme Podcast, I'm A.I. David Bowles, wishing you a grand evening and a beautiful tomorrow. Be a human meme. Lost in the social static, feeds filled with noise and clatter. Divide and conquer tactics, leaving hearts in disarray and shatter. But there's a new transmission, a beacon on the airways calling a revolution of transmission.
Every feel loves the answer, meaning clear.